uh, what's up? I'm Lyrate, and this is another video, and no, you didn't read the title incorrectly, I don't know what I'm gonna title the video yet, obviously, but I did indeed ride a bike off of a volcano a couple years ago, so, you know, I thought, hey, clickbait views, let's make a video off of that, and here we are, welcome to that, but before we get into that, we all love this part of the video, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for, uh, 85 subscribers, that's a lot of people, thank you for that, it really means a lot. I'll try and kill this guy for those 85 subscribers, but I, I guess we're not going to do that today. But anyways, so <laughs> getting into the story, um, my family and I went to Hawaii a couple of years back, and it's, you know, a little known fact that Hawaii is made up of a series of ocean volcanoes, but apparently there's this thing you can do where you ride a bike down the roads that now exist on the volcanoes, which can be pretty fun, unless you're me and also an idiot. So we took this bus with a bunch of other people, this was pre-COVID, of course, riding up to the top of this volcano mountain thing, and you know, at the time I wasn't really aware of what we were doing like i don't really remember thinking oh we're riding down a volcano now i remember thinking like oh we're, we're doing this now <laughs> i think it might have had something to do with the jet lag or you know maybe me, just me being an idiot child but i suppose we'll never know so anyways i'm sat here on this bus bike helmet in hand and they let us out right at the very top and i remember it was a bit rainy so my parents were worried i was gonna slip because of the tires but who boy <laughs> they had no idea the storm they'd have coming in just a few hours <laughs> That was a pun. I, I guess I'm making jokes now. It'd be nice if this guy would stop shooting at me, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Nope, nope, okay, I guess we're gonna have to fight him eventually, but anyways. We all got on our bikes and set down the mountain, and I quickly realized that, you know, as any self-loathing child would, um, that I could go at breakneck speeds down the volcano because it was downhill the whole way. Which, you know, whoa, I should have realized I think we can kill this guy. Never mind. Okay, he has knocked back eight million. Please, I don't want to die in my first game. This is not what you love to see. Well, I'm not even here. I'm an illusion. That's all that I am. Oh my god, they don't even see me. Okay, this is what you love to see. This is what you love to see. They they call me Mr. Clean. That That's what they call me. <laughs> but anyways... I was riding at breakneck speeds down the volcano because it was downhill. I should have expected since we were one on a volcano and two I had just taken a bus ride that was entirely uphill but we don't need to mention that now do we? I don't know what this guy is doing but I'm not sure if I like it. <laughs> I know he's trying to find me but I think we're gonna go on this side for now so that he can't just knock us straight off when he mines down. Oh he's come down. He's come down to fight us but that sucks because we're gonna hit him off are we? Yeah we are. This is what you love to see. <laughs> they call me the PvP god for some reason, and that is the reason. So anyways, we're about halfway down, and me and my mom have set out at the front of the pack, and we stopped for lunch at this small restaurant that all the bikers were supposed to stop at, also because it started raining again. And so we were really behind, so it was just us alone in the restaurant, which might sound lonely, but no. I think I can knock this guy- or I can just miss every single hit and die, because that would be great. Please let me hit something. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe I gave that away. <laughs> oh my god. But um, so we stopped at this restaurant and we were alone, which might sound lonely, but no. The servers were actually really friendly and I remember eating way too much bread there. It was probably banana bread, but I don't remember. Which is ironic really because I don't really like banana bread, not that I hate it or anything. It's just like the whole pineapple on pizza thing, but I don't think I want to bring that controversial of an argument up in a video right now. <laughs> but um, back on topic. Uh, so we ate food at this restaurant and we all took off down the volcano. Once again, volcano, mountain, I feel like I've been using those words interchangeably, but it's, it's a dormant volcano, so it's basically a mountain anyway, whatever. So we're continuing down the side of the volcano and I'm still zooming around like an insolent brat, you know, as any child on a bike would. And I remember all I could think to myself was no break, no take which technically should have meant that I should have braked instead of traveling at light speed down a very steep volcano road, but no, I was rebellious and knowledgeable about biking skills. That, that was sarcasm. <laughs> so anyways, we're going down and I see a field that's a bit below me on my right that looks like sugarcane and of course I'm intrigued because, you know, we don't have that kind of thing where I live and at the time I trusted myself to steer right, but I guess you and I both know how that's not gonna turn out well. You know, I'd really like to find someone to kill within this flower, but I don't know if anyone's even here. I hear someone building, actually. Oh no, I see them. Never mind. But how do we get to them? Okay. No, I have a plan. For the for the first time maybe ever, I actually have a plan. We're gonna we're gonna shoot them. That's what you love to see. Oh. 
Okay. Wait, there are four hearts. No! I don't know if they did that on purpose, but <laughs> I'm not complaining. So anyways, I'm staring into this field, but there's a huge bump in the road, and I don't see the bump until like two seconds before I just ram into it and spin out in the middle of the road, traveling into this ditch that was on the side of the road, and falling into the sum of the sugar cane that was in the field, which, you know, pain. And uh, that was a lot of pain that I just... <laughs> died that easily to someone. I don't know how he did that. But anyway, I had to like limp back to the bicycle place where they gave me like five pieces of gauze and a good luck before we went to the store to get some more bandages and this funny other thing too, but I'm gonna have to explain a little more about that. And actually, I remember I absolutely refused to be carried back. Like, I stood in front of the sugarcane field, like I'm walking out of here, I'm dying here. There's no other option. But we were in Hawaii, right? Where there's all the beaches and water that people, you know, swim in. And I had just dive-bombed into a pit of sugarcane on the side of a volcano. So, you know, not much skin on my knees. <laughs> so what my parents did was find me a bag that would go over my leg that was meant for use while people showered, but I used it to go swimming. Like the rebellious individual I am, I know I'm so very cool. No doubt that looked awfully strange to like the people swimming around to see a kid running around with a bag on their leg and a whole log of gauze wrapped around it, but maybe that was my goal. There's this thing called snorkeling, where you go and see fish but you use a tube to breathe since you're, you know, underwater. And I remember a lot of fish tried to go inside the bag, like a personal fish tank. Actually, I, I think I regret saying that. That probably wouldn't have uh, helped my wound heal that much. But I guess, you know, technically I didn't ride a bike off the side of a volcano, so did I technically clickbait you? Maybe. I'm not gonna answer that question. Innocent until proven guilty, as I like to say, but I thought it was a cool story anyway, and I still have the leg bag now. I just don't know what to do with it. I might need it later, I don't know. You know, I, I've been looking everywhere for this other person. Like, there's only two people left in the game, but I have not been able to find this other person. And I think I just saw them at mid. I'm gonna need to go check that, though. I hope- oh. And that's a victory. Uh, anyways, I mean, that was kind of a short video, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Bye. <laughs> it's me, and card lyrate, so. The Skywars video last time did way better than I thought it would, so I was like, hey, let's do it again, and here we are. I wanted to thank you guys again for 85 subscribers, that's a lot of people. I've gotten like 10 subscribers in a week, which is crazy, so thank you so much if you subscribed. And if you didn't subscribe, thank you for watching until the end of the video, but maybe, you know, consider subscribing.